G'day Mick from Zegrills Australia here. This is my Zegrill 700E which has done a lot of work including a 10 hour brisket a couple of days ago. It's pretty dirty inside so it's a perfect opportunity for me to show you how I clean this up to keep it nice and clean and working efficiently. One of the first things you want to do is keep your grill rack nice and clean and I actually cleaned this up the other night after doing my brisket while the grill was still hot. That's the easiest time to do it. I use my koala claw to scrape out all the chunks. I normally do that and then I'll use a wet cloth uh, like this one, purple works best I find. Bit of water, works best when the grill's still hot, and then just backwards and forwards. Now, you will find, get a bit of wobbling, that's when the koala claw comes in handy, lock it in place, and you can go backwards and forwards, and just break off all those chunks. And also too, you'll find that the water loosens up those chunks as well, so then you can go back to your koala claw to break those off and get it really deep. So what we'll do now, take out our grill rack. Again, koala claw is perfect for that, put it off to the side. So the next step is our disgusting grease tray here. Luckily we put on some Zegrills heavy duty foil, which means that we can just literally peel that off and throw that away. Away that goes. Next thing, grease tray out. Remove our baffle plate. So I'm just gonna use a shop vac now to vacuum this out. So we can now put our baffle plate back in, slide that back in. Another really important place to keep clean is this V here where the grease accumulates. So mine's pretty clean because I do clean it regularly and of course keep that chute clean as well. You can literally take this cloth and run it down through the chute, pull that through and keep it nice and clean. And of course your grease bucket with some warm soapy water to clean that out as well. You can also wipe down edges of the grill here, particularly the front here, you get some dribble sometimes down there. Inside shelves here, where everything sits, makes sure there's no big chunks of grease. I generally don't worry about cleaning my lid here. This orange colour looks quite nice, I reckon. But you can just wipe it down if you want, just with a, a wet cloth. And again, no chemicals. It cleans up very, very easily, just like that. So another good thing to do is to run your pellets right down and vacuum out your auger, which I'll show you in a second. Normally what I do is I just run them until they're very, very low, but for the sake of the video, you can scoop these out. As you can see, I've removed the auger guard here. I'm not endorsing that. Up to you. We now have a beautiful clean auger opening. So this is a good idea to do this every maybe 20 or 30 kilos of pellets, especially if you have any burn back issues where you've got smoke coming out of the hopper. Make sure you don't pour the wood pellet dust in the bottom of the bag and make sure that this is nice and clean. Once every six to 12 months, or depending on usage, you can also take off the chimney cap. And just use a toothbrush to give the inside of the cap here a scrub. Mine's clean because I've recently cleaned it. But scrub that out with a toothbrush and also inside the chimney stack as well. So a lot of people ask me, Mick, how do you keep your stainless steel lids so clean? And the answer is the same way I keep my head nicely polished. I use Metal Clean and Polish from Hillmark. So previously we talked about the purple rag is good for the inside. Bright green rag, perfect for the lid. So... Give it a nice rub, flip it around, you can see there, clean bit of cloth to polish it off. How nice is that? So it's super, super easy. Beautiful.